Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about 5th Gen Camaros. We're going to look at a few things on these types of cars that might make you not want to purchase one. So stay tuned. This is Costantino Garage. <music> Let's start with a really common reason on why people wouldn't want to purchase a car like this. This is the SS model, which contains 6.2 liter LS3 V8, bumping out well over 400 horses straight out of the factory. Now, in my car has a few modifications that puts it closer to the 500 horsepower range, which definitely hurts at the gas pump. Especially nowadays where gas is approaching over $6 a gallon, not too many people are going to want to drive a 400 plus horsepower car as their daily driver. Not too economical, will be quite expensive in gas. This is just one of the reasons why you probably wouldn't want to get a 5th gen SS Camaro. Now let's talk about comfort. I'm a bigger guy, I'm about 6'3". If you're tall, slightly bigger guy, might be a little issue on getting a 5th gen. Now say you're in, everything is fine, but watch when I go reach for the door. My head. Your head is higher, the whole roof of the cab is low. Even with the seat all the way down, it's still very, very tight clearance from your head to the roof of the car. That's another thing you're probably gonna to wanna to look for and see if you even fit in the vehicle and it might steer you away from getting this type of car. To add to this, as I'm inside the car, you can tell very, very close. So any little bump or jump, your head's hitting. So you have this thing that you do when you know there's a bump coming, you kind of turn your head so then your head won't hit. A little bit annoying that you have to deal with that, but it's one of those things that you need to deal with it or just don't buy this type of car. Another thing is that this is pretty much my line of sight. So when you're driving, the windshield is pretty narrow. A lot of times when you're stopped at a stop signal or even the metering lights on the freeway, you can't see it. The light is further up. So you have to bend down and look up to get to see the light. One of, one of those other annoying things that a lot of people would probably not want to tolerate with 5th Gen Camaro. Me, I love these cars. These are the little things that I just deal with. So let's move on to the next thing. Next thing we're going to talk about is trunk space. Although the cubic, what, cubic inches, cubic feet inside of the trunk is relatively large. However, look at the opening that you have to work with to get things inside the trunk. Oh my sweet Jesus. Try squeezing in a bag of golf clubs in here very difficult. You have to be a rocket scientist in order to engineer the way that the bag could go in and fit in. I like to go golfing, so I had to become an engineer to figure out how to put the golf bag in this trunk. It does fit, it just takes a little finesse. You got to get figure out a way of using the trunk or actually just don't even use the trunk if you're going to get a car like this. If you're using it for a daily, you need to use the trunk. It's kind of a pain in the butt when you got a microscopic hole to work with as a trunk. Now let's talk about tires, right? Factory, these are not factory wheels, but they're the same size. 20 inch wheels. Tires for these types of wheels and size can get a bit pricey. They're usually summer tires, performance tires. I went with a little slightly wider. These are 20 by 11s. Factories, I think around 20 by 9s. So they're a little less wide, but the wider you go, the more expensive it is. And if you're gonna get wide tires like these, they mainly only come in performance style tire, which means they don't last as long. Their summer tires, tread wear is like 300. My last set of rears, driving not crazy. Just driving moderate, lasts about eight to nine months, which is ridiculous, especially considering the tires range from 300 to $500 each. One more thing you should consider before buying a 50. All right, guys, let's talk about comfortability, ride comfortability. Now, this has slightly aftermarket suspension, what makes it lower, makes it a little more bouncy and stiff when you're driving. 
factory suspension is just a little bit better. It's still stiffer suspension because it's an SS. You know, you're still gonna feel the bumps in the road because the tires are lower profile, meaning there's less rubber between the wheel and the ground. The lower the profile, the more rough, bouncy, you're gonna feel the bumps in the road, you're gonna hear the tire, road noise, things of that nature. So those are another things that'll steer you away from getting a car like this. A little bouncier, a little stiffer, not as comfortable as getting like a standard SUV or compact car. And finally, the last thing that I always look at is modifying the car. Now, I know a bunch of people will buy cars like this and not touch them, leave them factory. But on the other hand, there's a lot of guys that want to modify them. Me, I'm the car guy that wants to modify everything. It's an act of lunacy. Now, when you look at a car like this and you go, well, that's badass, but it didn't start like that. It had the factory silver wheels. There was no carbon fiber. There wasn't lowered, et cetera, et cetera. So, Looking into cars like these, you're gonna have an urge to modify and upgrade things. You wanna get new wheels, you wanna get spoilers, you're gonna carbon fiber this, carbon fiber that, engine mods. All those things come into factory when you wanna buy a fifth gym. These parts are not the cheapest and will start hurting after a while if you wanna keep up with the mix of the rest of the fifth gen owners that have all these cool upgrades. So not too bad, a bunch of reasons on where you would probably not want to get a fifth gen but these reasons didn't stop me i deal with them i deal with the quirks of slightly hitting your head every now and then grabbing the door you know blind spots gas prices etc you know what if you love these fifth gens you just deal with it i love mine it may not be the case for you if this is too much then hey now you know maybe you shouldn't get a fifth gen camaro because it has these little quirks. But hey, I'm Kevin, Costantino Garage. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, be on the lookout for the next video. Peace, guys.